Hello, this is Dr. Kalyani Pavitrakar again. Uh, now, we have been discussing about uh, small insects, bees, butterflies, um, birds from quite long time now. Uh, and I must say that have changed my perspective to look at the weeds. Uh, so now, I, we will introduce you to the new way of looking at the weeds. So, welcome to the world of weeds. Hello world, a lot of people call me just a weed, but I'm a friend for many if you just consider this. Today, let me introduce myself in a nature's way, the way I was created with a purpose and a noble reason. It's just the end of the winters. In some regions of the world, the temperatures have been in minus. In other parts, it was so cold. Many of the native flowering plants are still in the hibernation mode. They are inactive. Some in the tuber forms have just realized the surge in the temperatures. The pollinators are also waking up from their nesting abode for the winters. And now they are hungry as all the energy resources have been utilized by them to keep themselves alive and going. At one side, the plants that they so much depend upon are beginning to grow. New shoots have started to form and the hungry insects must find food to go on. And there comes mother nature to the rescue. The first of the plants to grow speedily and bloom are the weeds as you call us. Mother Nature abhors empty spaces. So we sprout and bloom in front of your eyes in no time. My flowers are the first food for the insects. And unlike most other plants, I have pollen and nectar, not merely one or the other. And I am very generous with them. If you see me grow in a particular spot, remember I am the only one who can grow in that compact little and very small of the spot. Because either the soil is too compact, hard or stomped. And I want to loosen it for you with my roots. I can also grow in too much of acidic soil. And I will improve it for you if you give me the chance. I can replenish the calcium in the soil with the dying of my leaves. We announce the onset of the spring for you. During the day, when the temperature is high, I open my flowers. But in the evening, when it cools off a bit, I close them again. Some of my friends are edible for the mankind too, if you have a proper knowledge about us. In fact, the flowers of dandelion were used to be called honey of the poor because they were used in jams, sauces, etc. for their sweetness. Have you ever observed? In a small space also, you can find many species of us living without competition and blooming for the insects. We also add 
about 5 to 15 tons of green matter per hectare depending on the species found near you. We also lower the wind flow, the soil erosion and the water erosion. Some of us can be used as the fodder for your big animals too. Also you can use some of us as your vegetables like kunjuru, tandulsa, ghol, pathri etc. Some of us have the medicinal properties. Some of us are used by you for the religious purpose like harari, agadha, maka etc. Some of us are best as nematocidal properties. Example Parthenium. So you see we can be useful to you in many ways and kind. It's just how you see us that makes all the difference. I will disappear again when everything is fixed and when I am no longer needed only to wake up again for the next season. Just wait and give me the chance. Don't uproot me till other plants bloom so there are no hungry fellows out there who are completely dependent on the mother nature for their food and resting. At the end, uh, we all can say that weed is uh, just a plant at wrong place or it is unwanted at that time by all of us. But Mamana nature works mysteriously and it's so giving and so caring. It's her way to look after the dependent one uh, before the main ones flourish and bloom.